Right now, I've been watching this movie called The Politician's Husband. And it's got one of my favorite actresses in it. And her name is Emily Watson. That's who's in this uh, Netflix uh, series I'm watching right now. I just love Emily Watson. She's just so all right. I'll tell you a really good. It's called The Honorable Woman. It was very intriguing. It was very interesting. Okay, the movie I just was telling you about. Actually, it's more than a movie. It's a series, you know. This is a TV show. Okay, it was a TV show, miniseries. I watched several episodes. I watched all that I could here on online Netflix. And it was just very intriguing. It was just so interesting. And Maggie Gyllenhaal was the actress who stars in it. And it was this really awesome actor who also stars, but sorry, I do not know his name. Okay, I watched another movie. Let me see. A number of days back called The Sapphires. That was a really interesting movie. I just really loved that movie. I loved watching The Honorable Woman, and I loved watching The Sapphires. Very enjoyable. Now, The Sapphires was almost about, like, true history, you know, about these people. I think they're called the Aboriginals, something like that, in Australia. They were the, the people that was there first, you know, like years and years and years ago, you know, they didn't get treated very good because the color of their skin, they, they, uh, they really didn't get treated uh, like the, you know, right, the right way. I mean, um, anyways, there was about a young group of, uh, black women from Australia. Yeah, well, one of them looked white. And uh, I think it was four, four girls. And they named themselves the Sapphires Music Group Singers. Okay, sorry, I'm not very good at, at explaining things. Just not, I'm just not a very good speaker. I'm better at writing than I am at speaking. Okay, and then the movie I watched before that movie was called Waking Up in Reno with one of my favorite actors. And here's a movie I watched called Breakup. The thriller. Okay, breakup. You know that movie, breakup. I really don't care about this kind of movie because this was kind of uh, violent and it was about a wife, a young wife. She got beat by her husband, and it was it was a good movie, but I don't really don't care for this kind of movie. It was starring Bridget Fonda. Made in 1998. Now here's a movie. This is a great movie. You've got to see this movie. Would highly recommend this movie if you want to watch a really awesome movie. It's called Labor Day. And uh. This divorced young mother and her 13 year old son, they went to grocery shopping. And for some reason, this, uh, this man who had escaped from prison, he, he somehow got them to take him home with them. You know, kind of by force. Yeah, by force. He was able to do that, but he ended up 
you know, he was, he had a, well, he did murder his, his wife, and that's why he was in prison. But, he had a really good side to him, you know, but he ended up, they caught him, he had to go back to prison on the movie, of course, but, the movie, it was a really entertaining movie, and a love story, if you want, if you would like to watch a good love story, I recommend Labor Day to you, starring Kate Winslet and Shot, then, okay, excuse me, I can't tell, Kate Winslet and Josh Brolin. Here's a really great movie I watched. I would highly recommend you watch this movie. It's like a really feel good type of movie. It's it's called Redwood Highway. I enjoyed it so much that I was inspired to write this song about this movie. And I started to watch I started blah blah blah. I started to write the song and I got about two lines and then I I just couldn't concentrate enough to continue. Now this is stars this actress and she's really great. Her name is Shirley Knight. She's been in lots of movies. And it also stars Tom Skewitt. Don't know how to pronounce his name. Tom Skewitt. Skewitt. And I just love that actor. I've always loved him, and I love Shirley Knight a lot too. I watch this other movie. Where's it at? In my list of movies. It was a Jesus movie, and it was the most awesome Jesus movie, movie that I've ever seen. It was maybe the most awesome Jesus movie I've ever seen. That's God, Son of God. And the most gorgeous looking Jesus ever, I've ever seen in any of the Jesus movies I've ever seen. The Lord Jesus Christ was simply gorgeous. And, you know, I have to wonder. I don't really picture Jesus being that gorgeous, you know. Not that, not that great looking, good looking. But I tell you, this actor who played Jesus, Jesus Christ, in this Son of God movie, that's the name of the movie, Son of God, he, he really seemed like, you know, the way Jesus would actually look, you know, kind of, in a way. And he, he was just his, his persona, his personality, it's just like you'd imagine, or I would imagine anyways. That Jesus would be like, you know, just so good and kind and caring and loving and all those wondrous qualities that, you know, you'd suppose it Jesus of having. I just really enjoyed it. In a way, I, if I get around to, I would like to watch the entire 2013 miniseries of uh, the Bible. It says it's a follow-up to the landmark 2013 miniseries, The Bible. The feature follows the life of Jesus Christ from his humble birth to his resurrection. I just read that on this little uh, Netflix pop-up window. And if you like Jesus movies, I think that you will really love this movie, you know, because it's a really great movie. It's called, again, the third time I'll mention it, third or fourth time. Son of God. As a matter of fact, that movie is so good, I think I'll watch that movie again. I think I will. And I don't very often watch a movie a second time. A second or a third or fourth time, but certain movies that are really awesome movies, you know, you can watch like over and over again sometimes. Okay. Guess that's all for right now. Bye, folks. Have a great day.